Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here at Maha Dojo. Easier for me to film the students is the end of one class teaching this. So it's been two hours teaching uh, beginners uh, and it's your passing drill and then you can add on it. So I filmed a little earlier and now we add on one uh, top wrist lock, Udi Garami trap submission in there. So most important, you're in the guard. Have your knees up in the pocket and wide. You're sitting down on your butt low and your elbows are inside control blocking the hip and you've got bicep control. So that's most important is just having good position. If you have good position, doesn't matter if he's a black belt or world champion, he doesn't get you until he pulls your arm across or gets you out of position. If you have good base, that's most important. If you control his hips so he can't rotate side to side by pinching your elbows, by blocking his hips, he can't get any submissions. Okay, those will go slowly. Knee up the butt. Right in the butt crack, open the door. Posture helps open up his guard. Knee staple through, control head and arm, pressure, 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 knee to knee pass, side mount, pressure, pressure, wait slowly, pressure, pressure, trap, set up the trap, wait for the guy to try and get his arm out, you set up the trap, top wrist lock, udigurami, paintbrush, americana, go back to head and arm, slowly knee across the belly, arms curl wide like Spider-Man, before that knee hits the ground, otherwise he traps and rolls you or pushes your knee back in a half guard. Always go low mount and control guy first so you practice against bigger guys for a potential street fight. Then you go up in a high mount, way up high, pinching your shoulders together, do the strikes, go to S mount. Now this is the first day doing S mount, so it's not perfect. You should turn a little bit more and have the knee more in the ear, but not bad for a 14 or 15 year old boy. Coming up to the S mount arm bar, the staying on top way. And then we're gonna take the back when he rolls, have the feet ready to go in for our hooks. Under the arms, superman him out or bang his elbows forward, pull up on the forehead, I like that he did that this time, and put in a rear naked or short choke while he's still supermaned out with your hips. Very good, that is how you do it. And now, the more advanced way, I'm gonna keep filming, you're gonna keep filming, you're gonna keep filming, the more advanced way is what I'm gonna do now. So, here you go. So guys, most important, you got bicep control. Okay, he's got his ankles crossed, pretend he's my size. Bicep control, elbows are in to block his hips like a steering wheel, he can't rotate. Most people do this, that's why you get arm barred. That's why you get triangle choked. That's why you get swept to triangle choke. If I control his hips and my knees are in the pocket and I'm setting my weight down on my butt, he can't do anything. I open up the door, I put the knee in the butt, my feet are together like a door hinge. I posture open and I control here. Not here, everyone does that because of gi training. He could come over, break my fingers and triangle choke me in a real tournament. I'm going to control in here, and I come in here, knee staple to head and arm control. Grab the guard, pressure, pressure, get your arms, work, wheel, man. Here, now I'm here, and I pass, knee to knee, slide, pass, boom. I set up the trap, top wrist lock, kung fu, and hit my top wrist lock, booty grounding. Go back here, see what's open up? There's a reverse toe hold. I hit that reverse toe hold there. Then I go in a mount. Boom, maybe an arm triangle there. When I drill, that's fine, or here, and then I do double grape on leg spreader, that's okay. Then double two air reverse toe hold, I put that there, that's okay. Then, oh, maybe he did heal well, then I do a telephone lock. Then maybe I jump off to at the tiny arm triangle choke. Then I go back in the mound, then I go in the ass mount, pinch those shoulders together. I try to pull those arms in, I don't got anything here, so I go to S mount, hook inside here, try to open them up, bam. Defend, 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 defend. Oh, I can't get it. So I come in here. Then I come in here and I get this lock. Okay, oh, then I did here. Oh, then I do pretzel lock. Then I do wrist lock, wrist lock. Then I do the armor. Then I go to mount. Then I bang, 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 bang. Turn. Boom, I'm ready to go in. Put my hooks in. Superman, I'm out. Pull up on his forehead. Give him a camel clutch. Smile at the crowd. <sighs> then you go here, then you put in a choke. That's more advanced drill. So you just go through the positions that actually flow, do it three times each, so beginners can drill a passing drill. Intermediate can add a few submissions, and advanced, you can hit whatever submissions as you're flowing, but flow and move through the positions and hit the submissions along the way. Hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe, thank you very much.